coach, and then questions for the student athletes, dismiss them, and then go back to questions for coach. When asking your questions, please designate who you're directing your question to. Coach, whenever you're ready, please. Uh, proud of our team. Um, you know, we, we knew Alabama was coming in and uh, playing really well, playing with a lot of confidence. I was probably most proud of our, our defensive effort to start the game. I thought we were really locked in with our game plan. I thought uh, Alexis Dye did a great job on the boards. You know, we had, um, had players that made plays. Ray and Tess were able to knock down shots and uh, really proud of, of our effort. And um, like I said, beat, beat a team that's, that's been playing very well. Question for Ray or Tess? Ray, how important was it to get started the way you did? You guys got into a hole the last time you played Alabama, and you just came right out of the gate in this game. Um, it was important just to set the tone for the game. We knew that we needed to come out aggressive, and um, we knew what, what our game plan was, so we just needed to execute that, and I think we did. We got the energy going, and the fans helped with the energy as well. Ray, obviously a Sunday was you know, a devastating result for you guys. How much of you know maybe a motivator was that for you, and how good does it feel to have a night like you did today? Um, yeah, I mean, losing is always motivation enough. Uh, but like you said, we, we knew what we needed to go into the game. Um, this was good for us as a team to know that uh, we can focus and lock in on what we need to do. Ray Burrell, Kelly and Stitch with WAT. How beneficial was that double bye for you guys because you guys came out with so much energy right out of the gate? Um, yeah, we were, we were able to uh, take some time off, rest, and then also uh, watch the game uh, yesterday. So we got to take a look at um, what we was going against today. So I feel like that really helped us, and we just uh, came out fresh today. Tess, I'm seeing a lot of 21 jerseys out in, in the stands. Just how I know this is a little closer for West Tennessee. Just how many fans and people did your family did you have in attendance today? Um, with it being closer, I did have a little bit more um, than I would at Knoxville. But um, you know, Lady Ball fans travel with us everywhere. Um, they're one of a kind for sure, and just the energy that they brought to the game just fed on the floor for us. And it just makes it even a better environment to play with whenever you have that much energy coming from the crowd. Ray, you had the job of guarding Bernie Davis, who scored 73 points in the last three games. What was your mindset kind of coming in and, and approaching that? Um, I mean, I knew what her strength w strengths were. So uh, my goal was just to lock, lock up what she's good at. So shooting three, driving, so just making sure I'm there. Tess, you, you can score from the arc, obviously, but you got a couple run-out baskets tonight. Was that part of the game plan after a made Alabama basket to just get down the floor? Um, you know, just sprinting the floor was a big emphasis for us, um, transition buckets, but also being able to – I can shoot behind the arc or whatever, but um, just <laughs> – sorry, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> um, but just making the opponent have to treat me better or – okay, wait, let me rephrase this. I panicked. <laughs> okay, um, but just being able to also shoot behind the three, um, having another part of my game um, so the opponents just know that I don't just shoot the three. Coach, Alexis, Alexis Dye kind of sparked that run early. Just how big was her performance in the first half? We'll do questions for Coach in one second. Oh, Any sorry. other questions for the student athletes? Last one right there, and then we'll go to questions to Coach. Second straight semifinals in, in two seasons. Tess, you haven't known anything different. How exciting is this for you, and, and how badly do you want to win this next one? You know, it's very exciting to be back um, in this position, but to get further than last year. Um, yeah. Thank you, Ray and Tess. You ladies are free to go. Thank Questions you. for Coach now? Do you want to do your question again there? Sorry about yeah. that. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. yeah. Um, yeah, I thought Alexis Dye's uh, production on the boards, especially in, in her, her offensive play to start the game, really sparked us, really energized us, and um, gave us some confidence there. I think you could see we were going to start the game pretty aggressive, and, and you know, she was a big part of that. Coach. 
17 assists on 26 made field goals. Nine of Tennessee's 10 players scored that, that entered the game. What does that say about the offense? Yeah, you know, it took us a minute, but um, we started sharing the ball. You know, Ray had seven assists herself, and um, I think Brooklyn had four. So we were, we were really looking to move the ball. Um, you know, we knew that the ball movement was going to be important in this game. They, we needed to try to find ways to get the ball inside. But, you know, could have could have had a few more touches there, but um, thought we did a nice job of sharing the ball. That's that's always a great number for us to see. Kelly, just wanted how important Brooklyn's uh, performance was tonight with Jordan in foul trouble, and how have you seen her grow recently? Yeah, um, well, Brooklyn is a ball of energy, and um, you know she loves playing defense. She comes in. Um, plays hard, gets excited. But I thought she made several hustle plays. Uh, she battled on the boards. Um, four, four boards, that's pretty good. Um, and then handled a, a lot of the pressure uh, with, with Jordan Walker on the bench with, in foul trouble. And, um, it's nice to have, have that energy. When she comes in off the bench, you know, you know what you're getting with her. And, you know, for, for a freshman, she's had a lot of growth this season and um, has, has been a big part of what we've been doing. Speaking of Brooklyn, um, her and Kaya when were, you know, key in holding Alabama to low shooting percentage and also breaking the press um, for a lot of the game. What do you what do you feel like that says about, you know, the future of the both of them? And I know you said Kaya has been kind of close to this kind of performance. How happy were, were you with her? Yeah, really, ex really excited about how Kaya Wynn played. I looked up and we had several freshmen on the court at, um, all at once. And, um, you know, I thought they, they played well. You know, Kaya was aggressive, handling the basketball. Um, she did a really nice job defensively. Um, and, uh, you know, she does a pretty good job on the boards as well. So I thought the, the two of them looked pretty comfortable out there, considering this is their first uh, SEC tournament. Coach, um, you, you got rid of the hex on a late night game. Of course, you, you pointed out it was a Friday, but it was still a late night game, and you came out so fast. Just how key was that start to not get yourself buried in a hole like you did when you last played at Tuscaloosa? Well, you know, our, our team did a great job of preparing for this game. Uh, I thought we were uh, really focused on knowing the scouting report. We were focused on executing our game plan, and I, I could just tell before the game, you know, they had a great mindset and, and great focus. Now, that doesn't always win the games, but, you know, to, to win a tough game like this, you, you've got to have great focus and great energy, and we had both to start the game, and I thought that was critical for us. Coach, uh, Brittany Davis and Megan Abrams scored 50 points on you guys 17 days ago, and then tonight they scored 23. What would you guys do to kind of stifle them tonight defensively? Well, the, you know, those two have been absolutely dynamic in, in their, the last few weeks. Um, they, have, they have done a terrific job. And, you know, I thought our team did a, did a nice job of trying to take away easy looks for them, really trying to pressure them behind the three-point line. And obviously, Tamari Key, I think she had five blocks at halftime. You know, so when she's able to patrol the paint, it, you know, shuts down opportunities for drives. Um, and our guards did a much better job avoiding screens, fighting through screens, and, and defending one-on-one. -on -one. Kelly, you kind of touched on it, but you brought a bunch of players into this tournament without any kind of postseason experience. I guess how nice was that to get that experience under their belt in what seemed like a very friendly environment for you guys? Oh, yeah. Um, the, I, I thought before the game I tried to give them the, the confident, have fun vibe. You know, I didn't want them to be uptight, and uh, I think sometimes you can be when you go to a tournament. But... Um, you know, I thought they, they handled it really well. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of orange in the stands, and uh, the game was very intense to start, uh, especially that first half. And I uh, thought, thought we handled it. I thought our players stayed pretty mature, and um, our, our freshmen didn't look like freshmen. Going back to Ray Burrell, um, really set the tone in the third quarter, really strong defensively all game on Davis. How important is it for her to be kind of peaking right now and leading the team like this? 
Yeah, this, this game was really good for Ray and for our team um, and, and how she played. She was able to make shots. She did a nice job defensively. Um, I thought she and, – and she obviously had a really good floor game with, with her seven assists. So I thought she played very well. It's good for her confidence and, and um, like I said, it's really good for our team, uh, I thought. And proud of Ray and, and how she played. That's all we have time for tonight, Coach. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys.